Start crew. Down. Yeah, crew. Let's see. Um, no, no, not there. <sighs> Kidding with you. It just slipped a little. Oh. I mean, nothing. Welcome, guys, to part two of our van conversion. So, what do you think, Nance? I'm going to cut a 14 by 14 hole in the ceiling of your new van today. That's scary. Scary? My first thought was, shouldn't we hire a professional, honey? But then you got me. I got Tom, <laughs> and I realized this is our van conversion. That's so right. So we have to we'll do, do it, it ourselves. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. So we're going to put in a Max Air Fan Deluxe. Uh, we're going to situate it in the uh, ceiling, not all the way to the back and not all the way to the front, but we're going to put it in a position where we'll still have enough room to put our two solar panels. So it should work out. We'll see. Um, I'm a little nervous about cutting this hole. You know, I think we're, we can do it. Hey, Dex, come here. Come here. I come have here. this come feeling here. he's going to make me drill the come first here. hole. Come here. Because so that's how he is. What do you, Dexter got a haircut. We made him look like a poodle. No, he doesn't look like a poodle. <laughs> but he... Uh, he likes the van. He likes the van. He's getting used to it. And uh, now that's his last of the summer cut. And all that nice fur should be back here by the time we go hiking. So anyway, so what do you think? Get to it. Let's uh, get to it. We got our template and uh, we're going to measure it all up. I'm going to get up on the roof and I'm going to cut this hole out. Oh, yeah. All right. Is that the right spot? It is. That's the right one. Yay. So now, There's a hole in my van. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. We attached a bag um, underneath the area to catch the metal shavings as they drop when I cut it. All right. I lined the uh, hole up here. And uh, what I did is lined it up perfectly and drew my outline around it where I'm going to cut. So now I'm going to take it and in the corners, I'm going to drill some small pilot holes and then go to larger ones. So my drill blade, I mean my uh, saw, skill saw blade can fit into it. So here we go. Starting off with a small drill bit and I'm going to go into each corner here. saw jumps around. This will keep it from vibrating. Woohoo! Got the job done! We don't Woo. know yet. I got to... Stay tuned. Anyway. Holes cut. Let's see. And we got a nice fit here. He scares me, but Hello he's a perfectionist. There. Good job, hon. Thank you. Let's clean this mess up All and right. we'll go on to the second part of it. Do you like go your new here. you like your new skylight? Yeah. <laughs> These are metal shavings. When I go carefully place this whole bag in the Trash. Yes, please. Thank you. Edges right now. Don't want to expose any bare metal. Rust -oleum. With rust -oleum. And the spongy brush works really good. Spongy brush. A lot of people just use the spray, but I think that would get all over. But I guess use what you got. 
So this is what I have. we're going to wait for this to dry a little bit. And then we're going to head and put the frame on and I'm going to drill some pilot holes. And in the meantime, also, we got to cut out four pieces of wood to go around the inside frame. tape now and uh, if you see down here um, so we'll double up here and then we'll even it off all around there with the boodle tape this is really good boodle tape the paper comes off really easy just basically fill up this little crack here and you can just squish all this down so it fits in there we just want a good seal all the way around it this with the lap sealant will keep any moisture out okay lap sealant around it covered all the screws all the edges and this is the lap sealant we use this is with that little guy's face on it so there you go next is to let this settle some and then we'll put screw the pan on the wires are in the inside like it's on there that's it hey. fan is in and here's the best part pulling the plastic off we have ourselves a max fan wires here the black is the positive always keep that in mind on this particular fan pen speeds exhaust intake outtake uh, temperature gauge all that good stuff on it so we'll get her hooked up soon and we'll see if it works but the fan is in hey, here's what we're going to be doing today uh, we drew out a plan that in this section of the wheel well this is the side that I am going to put a board up and across and over and we had to do a template of the uh, wheel well right there and I I'm gonna cut it out uh, but I can't put them up yet because I'm still waiting on the thinsulate insulation that's coming here I guess in about a week or so and uh, and then also up here we're going to attach our brackets for our frame bed and again i'm going to make use of these to uh, secure that board up against that part of the van so what we're doing today is basically measuring out this doing the template cutting it out and making sure it fits and that's what a, a lot of this is where I'm going to have all my electronics, my probably my fuse box, my uh, probably over here, my charge controller from the solar panels. I'll have an inverter here and uh, somewhere in here also I'm going to have my DC to DC uh, battery isolator uh, charger. So let's get to this. And after that, we're going to build boxes that are going to come out around this wheel well and across the top and eventually have a door opening them up so we are going to get to it i'm not sure what day this is but this is our really our third major project since we got the fan up yesterday
finished up the two walls that are going to go right here, um, but I can't put them up yet until I get the Thinsulate. We made our boxes. We're just going to put uh, hinge tops on those after the Thinsulate. So we got both wheel well boxes done, and uh, we'll be able to have a little bit of storage in there just to throw odds and ends and whatever. We don't know yet. But on the front of these, on this side, I'm going to have up here and there and along there uh, things like uh, charge controllers, inverters, uh, my battery uh, DC charger to DC charger isolator, fuses, on off switch, and my fuse box. I'm going to my DC circuits for my lights, my fan, and other 12 volt system stuff. So it was a good day today. We got a lot done. And uh, we're going to attach these boxes to the floor once we get that insulation up. So it was a good day, and uh, on to the next project. I'm exhausted. I want to get this cleaned up and take a shower. Really? It was a good day, yeah. Good, good day. The boxes, I thought, turned out good. Good. I'm glad yeah. you like it. I'm happy with it. Good. Dexter under the van. I guess he's just telling us we're not going to go anywhere without him. And you guys are crazy to be doing all this hot work beginning of September in 90 degree weather. 90 feels like 104. Yep, I am liking those boxes and they're going to suit us. Well, that'll wrap it up for this portion of the van build. I um, was really happy uh, how easy, well not real easy, but how smoothly it went to get the fan in. Um, kind of being held up right now because we're waiting um, for our Thinsulate. It's a 3M product for our insulation that's supposed to be really, really good. Uh, we ordered it out of Portland, Oregon, and it probably won't get here by this weekend, but hopefully it's supposed to get here by next weekend. But that is holding up the project. For example, I cannot get my garage wall boards up because uh, I need to put the insulation uh, behind it. I can't get my, I can't wire everything because I want to put the, ins the wiring on this side of the uh, insulation. It just goes on and on and on. I can't put my ceiling boards up or my walls. Uh, so, you know, as soon as that comes in, we'll be able to move fast forward a little bit more on this. So, but in the meantime, I'm going to be figuring out uh, the upper cabinets. Uh, probably, I've, I did pick up uh, portions of my rack for the top for the uh, solar panels, so that's going to work out. I was real happy to find that locally up in uh, Fort Pierce, Florida, and I'll get into that and that whole thing uh, when we get into that section. Uh, keep in mind that uh, anything that I'm using any material that I'm using, any uh, equipment that I'm putting up, I'll put links down below to everything where you can purchase these. Uh, one thing for sure uh, is if you're into, if you're making cabinets or if you're just into woodworking be to begin with, this is a, a Craig pocket hole jig. And take a look. I swear this is essential for uh, making cabinets and I don't know how you can live without it. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll put a link to that below. Uh, other than that, I think this is going to be a wrap and we're going to try to get some things done today. Uh, we've got our, we do have our bed frames uh, we've, and so we can measure that out and, ho and we do have our mattress for the bed. So we can ho hopefully uh, put that all together and measure that out and at least work on that. And then when the Thinsulate comes in, we'll be good to go. So, hey, thank you for following Walker's World and stay tuned for the rest of this van conversion. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Take care. Uh, I bye did bye. wanna mention that I said I was going to put um, some hinges on it so we could open these. But basically, I am on, this is the side that, and of course, the in the garage portion of the van here, what we call the garage section. This is, this is gonna be a half inch plywood all going across there that I, we cut out. 
but there's going to be a lot of component electrical components that are attached here there's going to be cables and wires going around here so I didn't put hinges on this one I'm going to leave this one just a solid piece across but I did leave a portion of it in the back so I can get in there and if I need to make any kind of adjustments or repairs I can get at it on the other side um, I don't I have that piece of I have this one in the garage but this one we, we may put a uh, lid on it uh, on this side is going to be where my water tanks gonna be my pump and all my water system will be going down to the sink area here and this will be the two batteries and I'm trying to keep the weight uh, we'll have like 20 gallons of water here which weighs a lot and I'll have two AGM 100 amp batteries here which weigh a lot also so trying to keep the weight uh, kind of evened out here so anyway so I'm not going to uh, put hinges on this and I think this is a better idea so I right, just want to let you know that <laughs>